大家好，歡迎大家收睇《周一長談》呢個節目，我哋節目主持人姚永安。今日同大家討論嘅話題咧，就係、是、我哋誒温哥華旁邊嘅本拿比市。咁如果大家記得咧，喺上次市選嘅時候咧，就有一個令大家即係好驚訝嘅一個結果。咁就係呢，就連續當選咗三十年嘅前市長呢， d e r e k Corrigan 呢，就喺呢個選舉裏面咧被擊敗嘅。咁啊，究竟係邊一位人物係可以將呢一位即係本拿比嘅王朝嘅，甚至被譽為皇帝嘅 Corrigan 係擊敗嘅呢？今日我係好高興呢，請到而家現任嘅本拿比市長。咁啊 ，Mike Curry 咧上嚟同我哋接受訪問。咁啊，除咗介紹佢自己之外咧，亦都會講下究竟本拿比嗰個發展係點樣嘅。Mike， welcome to our show。Thank you very much for having me。嗱，我識咗你咧就都十幾年㗎啦，嚇。咁但係我識你啫，你可唔可以同我哋嘅觀眾介紹下你自己同埋你嘅背景咧 ？Yeah. Um, well, I was a firefighter in the city of Burnaby for 30 years. Um, and during that time, we have had, you know, a pretty good Idea of how the city operates and the issues around the city, and actually being on the ground for a lot of the homeless issues and a lot of the people facing tough times within our city. So I think from that perspective, I had a really good grounding on seeing what the needs of people are within our city. But myself, I came to Burnaby in 1983. I grew up in Northern Ireland and、um, came here actually as a musician. In 1983, and I'm also carpenter by trade. So I started out、uh, being a house builder here, and、uh, then I got on the fire department in 1988. So that's what led me into the political field、uh, in my job as a firefighter, and I got to know you、mm. uh, through that very uh, political uh, field uh, when you were running in Burnaby. So, so you're right. We have known each other since 2005, I believe. 嗯哼，嗱，咁啊，其實你個背景都幾有趣喎。你同我哋大家都係移民，咁但係咧，你就係愛爾蘭過嚟嘅。咁但係另一方面咧，即、就、係、是、你而家咧就做咗市長啦。咁但係你睇翻你從前嗰、那個啊、呃、過往經歷咧，就你係一個音樂家，咁你亦都係做過一啲啊、呃、木工起樓，再跟住就係做啊、呃、消防嘅工作。咁但係點解你會去出嚟誒參選嘅？尤其是上一次嘅市選，點解有啲咩因素令到你出嚟一跳就唔係選市議員而選市長咧 ？Well, you know, the the issue that really got me interested in in that I can make a difference was first and foremost the homeless issue.、Mm. And as a firefighter, in my last few years as a firefighter, it was heartbreaking to go to calls and lift people up off the ground. And then have nowhere to take them in Burnaby because we had absolutely refused to deal with that issue in our city, and、uh, you know it was heartbreaking to me and, and a little embarrassing too that a city with our wherewithal to do something just absolutely refused to do it. So that was really the first issue that got me thinking that I could make a difference by running for mayor, and、uh, Mayor Corrigan had always taken the position. That it wasn't the city's issue to deal with homelessness; that it was the province's issue to deal with homelessness, and I just、uh, I didn't agree with that. And I felt that、uh, while technically he's correct, but however, from a human perspective, we can't sit back and let people be starving and freezing on the streets in the coldest nights of the year. So really, that was one of the first issues that got me. Thinking that I could make a difference and that I should make a difference. 嗯哼，嗱，咁就你你就係用呢個理由啦，就係去選呢個市長啦。咁但係另一方面咧，我亦都從唔同嘅啊渠道聽到咧，就係其實本拿比咧係即係都管治得唔錯嘅。如果唔係嘅話，即係啊 ，Corrigan 又或者佢嗰個團隊 BCA 咧，就唔會連續三十年啦。或者十六年咧，都係即係可以當選連任，係繼續管 Burnaby 嘅。咁其實咧，你覺得即係本拿比你未接手之前個城市嘅管治情況係點咧 ？Yeah, well, if you measure a, a well-run city by a bank account,、mm. uh, Burnaby has been a well-run city.、Uh, that bank, those、um, bones to put that all together in the city of Burnaby started back in the early 50s. 
1950s, long before BCA, when the city almost, uh, almost went bankrupt and they started down a new path of fiscal responsibility and actually buying up a lot of the property in Burnaby. So Burnaby has been a fiscally very well run city since that time. And, and that's continued over the years. However, there's more to running a city than running a bank account. Um, our, you know, our infrastructure was getting old and um, we were not replacing it, in my view, as quickly as we should have been. Uh, there are many areas in our city, although it's growing, where the infrastructure was not keeping up with the population. That, including, that includes, you know, our centers, our, our libraries, our swimming pools, they're all getting old. And, uh, you know, a city with, with our, our financial status should have been able, in my view, to uh, keep those, uh, keep up to speed with all those issues. And uh, we seem to think that we are going to do all this in the future. And I say that our families need those things right now. So while Burnaby fiscally was a well-run city, we, were, we ignored many issues, in my view, of looking after our working people, keeping our working people in our city, and also keeping our infrastructure up as, ne- as much as it needed to be. Mm-hmm. 是放在那裡,是去收息,去可以用的。Well, as I said, Burnaby's been, been in a good fiscal position since uh, you know, the 50s and the 60s right through. But um, you know, the real, where we started being able to really bank money was after SkyTrain lines were put in in our city and then we had our four town centers. And then suddenly we were able to build many, many high rises. So the development costs for those high rises were, were paid into the bank, paid into the bank for future infrastructure, which uh, meant that we, are, we have now built quite, a, quite an nest egg, um, $1.7 billion. But this is not how certainly. other cities like Vancouver treat those uh, development money. Right. They have, they have managed it a different way, where mm. Vancouver has tried to build their other infrastructure at the same time. Mm. So they were doing it as they went along, but Burnaby was banking the money to build the, the infrastructure in the future. And in my view, we should have been doing some of both, putting some money in the bank, but also keeping our infrastructure in line with the population that was coming into the city. And that's what you're starting to see now, or we have 15 projects on the go that will bring our infrastructure up to where it needs to be within our city so we can service all the, all the new people and the new families that are coming to our city. Yeah, so we have $1.7 billion <laughs> set aside for, okay. for future infrastructure. And uh, so that's why we're moving ahead now uh, to catch up. With, with that new infrastructure that's out there. Okay, so you are spending some of these uh, uh, funds now. We're still going to remain fiscally responsible, mm-hmm. but we do need to, to keep our public buildings okay. where they need to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know, although there are seven uh, RBCA members, mm. I've known all these people for 25 years. So 
I'm friends with most of them. And these are people that really care about Burnaby and really care about doing the right things. And when we put the, the issues on the table, we find agreement on most of the issues because we all care about Burnaby. And at the end of the day, we want to do the right thing. So yes, I am able to work with most of the councillors and we are able to get agreement on most things that we need to move Burnaby forward. As for my difference from uh, Mr. Corrigan, I think I'm a lot more of a collaborator and a listener. And um, I get out there and talk to people and find out what our real needs are in the city. I'm not a top-down person. I'm more of a person that likes to work in collaboration. Mm-hmm. 就即將會在本拿比度建造的,你都可不可以跟我們介紹一下這個大廈呢? Yeah, I believe the building you're referring to, I'll deal with that first, mm-hmm. is um, in the Brentwood area. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's 68 stories, if I, if, if I can remember uh, correctly. So that was passed in the uh, town center plan quite a while ago. And yes, it's, it, it's going to be a very tall tower. Um, in that area, but it will be surrounded by a lot of other towers. So, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, of course, there's added expense for the developers when they go that high. And uh, we'll see how that works out. I'm, I'm not sure that I really like it, but uh, we're, we're, we'll look forward to seeing how it works out and then we'll, we'll make judgment on further ones. But why why you don't point. like it? Well, you know, I'm a first responder mm. and a firefighter. Mm. so. There are great challenges in fighting possible fires in buildings that high. So that's one of the reasons that I have my reservations about buildings that are that high. Uh, but however, it, it's, it takes away from sight lines in my view and, and other possible viewing points within the city. So that's why I, I will reserve judgment until that was decided before I came on the scene. Um, but I'll reserve judgment on, on that tall of a building until I see it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now, how, yep. you're right, and there's many towers going up around Burnaby. So we have, instead of one town center, we have four town centers. They're pretty much built around our, our Skytrain stations uh, within the city so that people can move around the city without driving cars. So, and that's a, a town, those town plans were decided, I think, some 25 years ago and they're coming to fruition now. And that's part of the overall uh, Metro Vancouver plan to have high density around our SkyTrain lines. And you're seeing that for sure in Burnaby. And, uh, and I think it's a good plan overall because it's, uh, people are getting to use transit more and more. We're seeing a 16% rise in transit use in the last year. So we're getting people out of their cars and using transit more. So I think overall, that's a good thing. Yeah, I think it's it's quite a shock for people who have uh, lived in, in the Burnaby area for a long time. Uh, when I first got here in 1983, Burnaby was pretty much a, you know, one-story residential home city where people got up and went to work and bigger lots. And, but, you know, times have changed. And I, I think that most people, while they don't really like it, realize that, you know, with the number of people coming to wanting to live in our city, that there's only one way to go. And, and we're running out of land, and so likely going up is going to be a big part of our future. Mm-hmm. 
。咁啊，除咗呢個係加拿大其中一個最大嘅購物中心，亦都好受歡迎之外咧，咁啊，其實大家睇到過去呢十零年咧，喺旁邊咧係越嚟越多高樓大廈起出嚟嘅。咁啊，其實呢個會唔會係誒繼續嘅發展，同埋會唔會其實？即係你講緊本拿比咧，阿 Metro Down 就成為咗本拿比嘅一個市中心咧。Yeah, well, certainly the Metro Town area is, is becoming our downtown, I believe.、Um, that probably won't come to fruition, probably for ten or twenty years until we really get to where we need to be. The Metro Town Mall, as you mentioned, is one of the biggest in, in Canada, and I think you're going to see. A lot of changes to that mall as well, where it will become a more indoor-outdoor mall and a more walkable space, and, and I believe a more livable space. And you will especially see a lot of changes on the Central Boulevard area, where all that will be, be becoming more walkable, and a more area where outside areas where people can gather, and become more of a city center, right close to the Metro Town SkyTrain station. So. We're really looking forward, and I'm quite excited about the plans for the Metro Town area. I think it's going to be something really special in the next ten、uh, and twenty years. 嗯哼，啊嗱，我哋而家睇得到咧，就係即係啊地產市道咧，其實就呢一排都係唔係幾好嘅。咁啊，呢個銷售數量有啲啦，價錢有啲啦。咁啊，對於市政府嚟講，亦都好依賴發展同埋收費。嘅呢方面咧，其實房地產嘅啊下跌咧，對你哋會有啲咩影響咧 ？Well, certainly there's been a softening of the market, and we're seeing homes and apartments、um, on the market for a lot longer period now than they were, and I think we're down maybe 12 percent. They're saying in overall costs.、Um, I'm not seeing that as a as a, a negative.、Mm. I'm seeing that as an opportunity, perhaps for first-time buyers. And、uh, regular working people to really have an opportunity to get in the market. As from the city, it really doesn't want to affect our bottom line all that much、um, because development is still going to keep happening in Burnaby. It's a desirable place to be, and we believe that the market will bounce back again、uh, in the middle of next year, and we'll be right back flying as high as we ever were. So, so I think the softening of the market is not. Completely a bad thing、uh, for our city. So you are recommending, suggesting people to buy in now? I would say that、uh, now is probably a pretty good time to be buying、uh, before before things turn around. But don't take my word for it. I'm I'm not. I'm only speculating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no expert. <laughs> 啊，咁我哋又講下即係唐人嗰個情況啦。咁啊喺列治文咧，就唐人嘅人口咧，就大概係超過一半嘅。咁喺温哥華市咧，就唐人嘅人口咧，就係廿八個 percent 左右。咁究竟喺本拿比市咧，你哋嘅啊市民裏邊有幾多係唐人咧？咁同埋啊，即係啊，你市政府嘅運作同埋服務上面咧，點樣係去服務呢、這、一個？唔單止係唐人，而係一個多元文化、有多元需要、多元語言嘅一個啊社群咧。Well, twenty-one percent of the population in Burnaby is 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 Chinese and Chinese speaking languages.、Um, I really get along well with the Chinese population in Burnaby. I I go to many of their events, especially their seniors' events. I have great relationship with many Chinese seniors in our community and enjoy their company very much. But we have、uh, a great deal of community involvement with all our different diverse groups. We speak 140 different languages in our city, which I think is is quite amazing when you, when you think about that in some of our schools. So we work with all our di- diverse communities and try to make everyone feel welcome and be sure that they're part of our community, not just in our community. We always have work to do on that field, of course, is to. Fully understand what our our Chinese and all our communities need, and we'll continue down that road. And I hope to continue having the great relationship I have had with the Chinese community until this point. 嗯哼，啊嗱，呢个新小雨嘅啊
謀殺案咧，就喺環社區咧都係一件好轟動、好關注嘅事情嚟㗎。咁因為佢喺呢個本拿比嘅中央公園咧係遇害嘅，咁而有啲人咧亦都將呢件事咧就係用作嚟去話啊呢個難民政策咧就出咗問題。咁亦都係啊，擔心難民嘅安頓喺我哋社會裏面呢，係造成呢個問題，同埋甚至呢個治安嘅啊關注嘅。咁我想問一問你啦，作為市長，你對於呢件事嘅睇法，同埋仲有就係啊呢個啊移民同埋難民喺本拿比安頓嘅情況係點樣呢 o f course, the, the tragedy of Melissa Shan is、um, still being felt within our city and in Is I can't even imagine what it's like for those parents and those families to to go through such a tragedy. However, for some people to use it、uh, to spur up more hate against refugees, I think is unconscionable、um, and, and unfair.、Um, you know, much as that tragedy was,、um, there are many great people who come here as refugees. And、uh, I don't see it as an issue for our community at all. We'll continue to be supportive of our refugee、um, communities, as I think most of Canada will. So, while Melissa Shan was a, a horrible, horrible tragedy, I don't see this as a reason to start、uh, spewing hate against all other refugees that are coming into our city. And I'm a firefighter,、uh, so I come from the public safety community. We have hired in the last in the last few months 20 new police officers、uh, within our city. So, I take public safety really, really as a, a, one of my number one issues, and will continue to do so. And certainly, we、uh, hope that we never see the like of the tragedy that we saw with Melissa Shan again. 嗯哼，嗱咁啊，大家講緊呢個誒輸油管計劃咧 ，Kenny Morgan 咧就即係已經講咗好耐㗎啦。咁啊，而大家亦都記得咧，喺二零一一年咧，呢個輸油管喺 Burnaby 亦都係爆過流過嘅。咁所以咧，而從前嘅誒即係上一任嘅市長同埋市市議會咧，就係強烈係反對呢條輸油管嘅擴建嘅。咁而家新人士啦，你係新任嘅市長啦，咁我想問下你對於條油管擴建嘅立場係點樣嘅咧？咁同埋都可唔可以同我哋講下，九二零零一一年嘅時候發生咗啲咩事？同埋本拿比係透過嗰件事，有冇一啲咩係可以學到，或者預防咁嘅事情發生咧 ？Well,、uh, my my stance against the pipeline has always been very strong. I I think that、uh, the pipeline is a terrible decision. The, the pipeline expansion is a terrible decision、uh, with a with an industry that. In my view, is one that we should not be spending the type of money on it that we have. I think we bought, we now own the pipeline. We spent 4.6 billion dollars buying a 60-year-old pipeline, which I believe is. I can't really see a reason to do that. Now, the expansion of that pipeline into Burnaby can lead to disaster、uh, within our city, where we're tripling the capacity of the tank farms. That is amongst.、Uh, You know, a very highly populated area and a university right above it, which again causes a lot more、um, serious concerns for our citizens. And I just believe that the risk reward is not there for bringing an, an, another pipeline into Burnaby, and we will continue to oppose it at every turn. So, as far as the you know the risk it brings to our to our citizens, I mean. We have concerns. I had a meeting last week up at Simon Fraser, and people are really concerned about how they're going to escape、uh, from Burnaby Mountain if there's a serious issue within that pipeline. And so it will be up to TMX if the pipeline goes through to come up with ways to ensure that those people can be evacuated and can remain safe、uh, within our city if the pipeline goes through. And I sincerely hope it doesn't. But that's.、Uh, I'm just as strong against the pipeline as anyone else.、Mm-hmm. So, what happened in 2011? 2000. Are you talking about the spill? Yeah.、Uh, the spill actually was 2007. Oh, okay.、Mm-hmm. Um, I was actually one of the first responders to the call.、Mm-hmm. Um, so it happened when a machine accidentally dug up a pipeline and under the ground. Under the ground and、mm-hmm. spewed、uh, great amounts of、uh, bitumen. 
and oil product into uh, around that area. And I can tell you that the response, and we always they talk to us about world class responses. It was um, it it was sadly a joke. The type of response that uh, the Kinder Morgan at the time had to that to that uh, spill, serious serious spill in Burnaby. And uh, I would certainly hope that if anything like that ever happens again, that the response would be a lot different. And that bitumen, uh, it's uh, with uh, some um, poisonous chemical with it. Well, yeah, there's, there are many chemicals that come with that product, mm. and uh, and that's the thing with the bitumen that comes out of uh, Fort McMurray is that, you know, it's a very uh, low low end product, so. The feeling is that if we can get it to high tide, that we're going to get top dollar uh, for that product. Well, it's a low end product to start off with, and my understanding is it costs about fifteen to twenty dollars a barrel extra to refine that product because it's it's uh, so high in different chemicals. So to refine it is really expensive. So I really don't believe, and this is that uh, we will ever get top dollar for that product. Like is being put out there by the oil industry. Mm-hmm. Okay. 好啦，時間到呢度啦。今日好高興咧，就能夠同啊 Bernabe 市長啊 Mike Hurley 咧就接受呢個訪問。咁亦都好高興再次見到你，同埋仲係以啊市長身份嚟接受我訪問嘅。咁啊，今日時間到呢度啦。下個禮拜另一個話題同大家繼續討論嘅。拜拜。